I came across a question in one of the SQL Server forums where the user asked, is there a way to track pending IO requests in SQL Server? Now, what do you mean by pending IO requests? When you send a request to SQL Server, let's, let's say you're firing a select statement or an update statement, end of the day, you are either reading data or you are writing data unless you simply just say select and you do some mathematics and some computations. But most of the times you are either reading or writing, which means that you are dealing with IO, you're dealing with disks. Of course, exceptions are when you fire a select query and you know, all the data pages are already in physical RAM in memory. So they're served only from memory. So I'm just not uh, including those scenarios, but generally speaking, uh, this is IO is one of those holy trinities, right? Like CPU, memory and IO and you want super fast disks. You want IO to go really fast if you want optimal performance from SQL Server. Coming back to the question, the idea here is to track if IO requests are pending. So let's say you fire a select statement and the data pages are not yet in the buffer pool, which means they have to be fetched from the disks. Now, if there are loads of users coming in, um, you know, and, and want a variety of data from different tables, which means different parts of the disks have to be touched, a lot of different types of data pages have to be read which means you will see a lot of IO requests being initiated. And then this DMV, sys DM IO pending IO requests. I mean, so many times IO here, okay? <laughs> so uh, forget about this. This is just the categorization. DM here starts for dynamic management and IO here is the category or to which this DMV belongs. You know, there are so many DMVs, so they're all categorized like IO, which means DMVs have something to do with the IO. Uh, in SQL Server, just like you have TRAN for transaction, you have like exec for execution environment, so on and so forth. So basically the DM here says that pending IO requests, give me all the pending IO requests. Now, if I execute this here, of course, there's nothing running right now in SQL Server. There is no IO request whatsoever. But now I will stress SQL Server and I will show you pending requests. So you can see there is an attribute here which says IO underscore pending, this one. Now this will give you one record, the result set here will give you one record for each pending request. But this attribute specifically, IO underscore pending, IO underscore pending has like, um, uh, either it has a value of one or it has a value of zero. Now, value of one means that the request is pending with the operating system. And a value of zero means that is that the request is pending with SQL Server. In other words, the operating system has done its job, which means uh, uh, the thread that was responsible to fetch the data, read the data from the disk is done. But SQL Server has not yet done a context switch. And the moment that happens, this record is going to be removed from here. So here you will see either a value of one or zero. I will repeat that again along with the demonstration. Okay, so, um, let's, and, and friends, yeah, uh, another thing, as I always say, you know, running these vanilla DMVs are least helpful. I mean, even if you, if you get this, look at the attributes like, okay, let's run some workload and let me show you the attributes, um, the data. Okay, here you go and let's go and execute this here. Now, oh, the moment you saw zero and one there, yeah, okay, well, let's stop here, okay. Now, you can see a couple of requests here from uh, uh, when we stress SQL Server with like hundreds of user hitting and wanting to read the data. And I purposely simulated this workload in a fashion that it's reading the data and then I'm clearing off the buffer pool, which means the request has to go to the disk. It's not just fetching the data from memory. Now you will see two values here, one and zero. So one here means that the request is pending with the operating system, right? One here means the request is pending with the operating system. And these ones here with the value of zero means operating system has done its job, but SQL Server is yet to complete the context switching. This is what it means. So the other point that I was trying to make is that 
um, the the value uh, this result set yeah this result set is not very meaningful in sense that okay you're just getting the number of requests but if you also want to track a lot of other things like the query and whatnot then yeah join this DMV with a lot of other DMVs like thread task request and even get the SQL text you know this is the kind of output that you might expect and you want to see this real world so let's run list stress SQL server again with this workload and let's go and oops let's go and run this yeah let's see a bigger result set there you go io pending nothing is the work has the workload done okay there you go let's go and stop this now at least this uh, output is a bit more meaningful so you're able to see the session id you're able to see the text and of course you can just make this uh, more meaningful by joining other uh, helper dmvs what you want and what you don't want i mean but that's this is too much of data very overwhelming i mean i would not I'm, I'm just trying to get everything to show you but this is not really what you will do in sense you will just pick and choose the attributes that you want that will help you in troubleshooting now what's the purpose of this you know just to conclude this content and to conclude this video the purpose of this is you are troubleshooting general slowness in sql server and uh, when sql server is performing slow which means overall the workloads are running slow they are not running as well uh, you know in response to their expected execution time then you're looking at okay how are my resources doing how is the cpu usage doing how is the memory consumption doing likewise you're going and looking into io when you look into io numbers you're looking at the throughput you're looking at the latency you're looking at average disk queue length a lot of those things and while you observe those uh, metrics in perfmon counters and with the help of dmvs this is another thing that you may want to look at because uh, if you are in this uh, habit of baselining and benchmarking how many io pending requests do you have at any given point in time there could be a trend analysis around that peak hours non-peak hours etc and when you see a slow sql server and suddenly you see that pending io requests have like shot up 10x or something like that maybe the io the overall io subsystem needs some kind of investigation and this attribute is very critical where is the request pending is it with the os or it's with sql server and i'll repeat that again one means the request is pending with the operating system and zero here means the request is pending with sql server which means the os has done its job sql server is yet to complete the context switch that's where it is hope you've enjoyed this video and hope this will take you one step closer to being a better sql server performance tuner friends do check out sqlmaestros.com a lot of upcoming master classes i mean the popular one sql server internals troubleshooting and performance tuning you can attend that class live and you get recordings for a lifetime you also get recordings of previous batches as well so a lot of this content for lifetime watch anytime anywhere as many times as you want and this class is very popular it's deep dive 40 hours of deep dive content and we cover the length and breadth from the perspective of performance tuning troubleshooting and query optimization a lot of real world stuff yeah if this doesn't interest you there are uh, recordings masterclass recordings there's all in one bundle fast track video courses premium membership where we give you access to all our webinars and these uh, premium tutorials as well so check out all of that if you enjoyed this video and if you've liked the content do subscribe uh, do put down a comment what kind of videos you would like to see please share your feedback and yeah share this content with your friends and colleagues happy sequel